my name is Rocky and I'm also known as Crimson Hair and I'm here to show you my seamless install. Let me just give you a little history about me. I am a licensed freelance hairstylist. I own Ricardo's Place Hair and Makeup Studio in Detroit, Michigan. I've been in the business over 22 years and I love what I do. So today I'm showing you something that I think a lot of us kind of battle with as far as wearing sewn in hair extensions and not being able to get the type of coverage we want or the versatility we want. So that's what we're here today to show you, my seamless install. So our model today is Miss Amber Ty from talktotie.com. We, we're doing her hair for her premiere of her online talk show. So just wanted to give you a little idea of who we're working with today. Um, before we get into um, actu the actual seamless install, let me tell you what I'm using today. So we're working with 14, 16 inches. This is the medium coarse, straight textured hair through Jace Beauty. This actually was anywhere between a 1B and a number 2 and we lifted this to a 7 level and then on the second bundle we lifted this to a 12 level so if you notice even in our hair because we've already pre-braided just to give you an idea uh, so we can kind of run through this right in the front right around her hairline we pre-lightened this to more of a violet color violet blaze I'm sorry violet base blonde just to give her a little bit of pop around her hairline so just wanted to let you know what we're working with before we get started so you can have a general idea and just so you'll know these were lightened with my source crop line which is definitely a uk line you do have to be licensed to purchase that color just so you'll know all right okay so now I, let me give you um, a definition of, or my definition of the seamless install. A seamless install, what I consider a seamless install, is when you're able, again, like I said, to wear your sewn in hair extensions pulled up, uh, pulled back. It just gives you more versatility. And again, as I said before, a lot of women, um, we fight and we battle with, you know, thinning hairlines, especially more so in a lot of African American women. We deal with a lot of alopecia areas around the hairline. And so, if you're not getting fusion or other methods, sometimes you're like, well, what am I gonna do to cover my edges? So, with the seamless install, you do have to leave a certain amount out. Uh, a lot of times you can leave the bare minimum and still get coverage. Um, in Amber's case, her hair is anywhere from medium to fine. She does have a little bit, um, maybe a little bit of thinning just right up here in the temple area. But of course, this hasn't been straightened, so we're gonna straighten all this out. You'll see the finished look in just a moment. But I just wanna give you an idea. We did pre-braid the hair, just so, like I said, we can kind of run through this. We've added a few of the tracks in just to give you um, an idea of what it will look like or what we're doing. But just to give you a better idea of how it's supposed to look, as you see from the back, we're lifting her hair up. I'm gonna let you hold that, Amber. And this hasn't even been straightened, flat ironed, or anything, and you can see she already has coverage, the coverage that she needs. So she can literally pull her hair all the way up and put it in a bun. So that is why we call it the seamless install, because you don't see seams, you don't see weft tracks, you don't see it. So now we've finished Amber's seamless install. And this is the completed look before we actually razor cut her hair and style it. And I'm just gonna turn around just to show you And of course it can be smoothed out a little bit better with brushing, but I don't want to do too much to it because we're actually getting ready to cut it and style it. So you can see that finished look in just a minute.
So ladies, this is our finished look. This is our seamless install. We gave Amber a few romance curls here and there. Um, in the front, we just kind of smoothed it down really, really nice so that it can blend into the hair. Um, we razor cut it, put a few layers in here and there. And let me just explain the reason it may look a little smoother than if, if you've received um, Jace Beauty's medium coarse hair, you may notice just getting it, um, when you receive the hair, if it's in its natural state, which would be anywhere from a natural brown 1B or 2, the texture may look a little bit, has a little bit more, it has a little bit more texture to it. So, because this has been colored, it's going to be a little bit smoother. So that does change the texture just a little bit. But this is your medium coarse straight hair. Okay, so hopefully you love our finished look. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you for tuning in and have a great one.